Grand Rising, Grand Rising, Grand Rising, Aquarius. How are you all doing, y'all? Um, I've been trying to, like, conversate with y'all and stuff because, you know, I be busy, okay? <laughs> um, Please only take what resonates. It's going to be a what's the tea message. So I may use cards. I may not. Um, So please only take what resonates with this. I like doing these messages because they're, like, deep and straight to the point. Um, so we're going to go ahead and tap into this. Um, my name is Spiritual Star 111. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really appreciate y'all. Y'all rock. Period. A1 Day 1s. You already know what's up. Um, let's see. Everything you need to know about me is in the description box. All right. Finding in your spirits to like, comment, and sus uh, subscribe. No, no pressure. I don't know why I'd be wanting to say supply, but anyway, I don't know why. It's like 420 be having me say that. It's okay. Um, so our angel Michael, I ask that you use me in the highest white light as I give a clear and communicative understanding facts, period, to Aquarius, just whoever needs to hear this, as that you bring forth whoever really needs to hear this and block out who does not need to hear this at this time. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, and Sister Spirit, guys, the most important in the universe. Now, let me tell you something. I don't usually uh, address the childish stuff, but... Let me go ahead and give you your two minutes of fame. Just two minutes. Two minutes. Whoever is the one person that keeps downing my video because you feel some type of way, I probably either done cut you off or whatever the case may be. This leads to my what's the tea message, okay? Continue doing what you're doing because you're not matching the likes. If you watch my video and you don't like it, it does not matter. Because it's not me to sit here and judge. It's not me to sit here and try to figure out your karma, whatever the case may be. If you don't like certain content, because it's only one person, only one, maybe two sometimes, but it's this one person that just, every time I'm sitting here talking about somebody may come back or whatever the case may be, it's like, it's that one person, okay? So I'm not even bothered by that. That's your two minutes. Just keep doing what you're doing. Now, this is what's the T. I'll notice when I did um, the mental illness or disorder message, um, it was in the comments that some people say that they're sorry, but they're really not sorry. That's true. People can say they're sorry and they're not sorry. Okay? But you have to come to terms. If they said that they're sorry, why do you keep going for it? There's a time in your life to where you're so used to that loneliness to where you forget what you need to be taken care of because you're sitting here trying to please everybody else. If somebody is saying that they sorry and they're not showing you anything, they're not changing they're not even acting any type of whatever that y'all talked about, agreeing on terms or anything. You come to a point in your life to where you have to... Let me ask you something. When your trash get full in your house, what you do? You take it out, right? Or you have your children take it out. Either way it goes, your trash get taken out. You have to realize in relationships, sometimes they're disposable. Some people find it so great to be single because every option that they have has been disposable. They was just there like the little Febreze bags that's out just to lighten up the room. And then when the smell got gone, what you do? Throw it away. I'm not making excuses for anybody. You only hurt yourself when you sit here and accept any type of verbal um, message or whatever from somebody that actually you know that they they full of it. For the ones that just subscribed to me, I appreciate you. I may not call you out every day. Y'all may never know what my subscribe count is. But I appreciate you. I'm letting you know I appreciate you. But let me tell you something. I'm very cutthroat. I'm not on nobody's side at that. At that. 
There's women that be at fault and there's men that be at fault. But you have to ask yourself, why keep putting yourself through stuff? When February came, I done a reading and I said, this is your karmic justice. Not karma, not karma for that person that you split up with. This is your justice. This is the age of the Aquarius. Stop dwelling on people to or trying to help people sometimes you forgive and you forgive and you forgive and you forgive how much more can you do that if nothing is if you're not seeing the results why sit there and take or, or sit here and keep giving somebody chance after chance after chance after chance i may turn my comments off for this one because i ain't i ain't trying to hear the same it's like a broken record. You better start realizing people are disposable in your life or you need to dispose of people. Ain't no way I'm gonna keep hearing somebody tell me that they're sorry and it's not it's they're not making any type of effort. Ain't no way I'm gonna sit here and keep putting up with the same stuff when there's so many other suitors out here. You don't have to settle for one person just because you have sex chemistry with this person, just because you like how this person talks, smell, look, whatever. There may be somebody that's even better looking than the person that you keep running after or coming after you. I say this on my live because I say a lot of stuff on my live that I really just need to be quiet. But in order for you to even know what change is like, you have to do things outside of what you normally do. Because the very person that you're not looking at is the very person that's going to treat you better than the one that you are thinking about or that you've been with. So just keep that in mind. Take out the trash and leave it there. You don't take it out and go back and dig through it. Take out the trash and leave it where it's at. Point period blank. I'm just... Because I'm seeing... Like, if you sit and you sit and you write all your relationships down, and you see you had to check this one off, check this one off, check this one off, check this one off, why is anybody, why is the person that keep making you struggle any different? Because people don't realize you block your blessings like that. You really block your blessings having somebody think or having somebody have that much control over you. The only person that has control over you is spirit. So really, you're contradicting yourself by letting somebody have that much control over you. They can sit there and call you and say, oh, I think about you. Or they can call you when they know you sleep or whatever the case may be. Let them do what they do. Move forward. You see how I just gave somebody two minutes and don't care? Don't nobody, don't nobody care. I can't really say what I want to say, but don't nobody care about a hating person, a hating female at that. I don't care about a hating male. I get on here to let y'all know the truth, to keep it real with y'all. Because as long as you put that stuff in the back of your mind, you will never be able to move forward. So keep that in mind. Every time you take your trash out or whoever takes your trash out, maybe you do need to take your trash out if you don't take your trash out. So you can know the feeling of actually throwing something away in the dumpster and leaving it there. That's all for what's the tea. Until we meet again, whether it's lifetime or the next, continue to stay high vibrational definitely continue to stay in your power continue to stay healthy and safe at this time all right 
Namaste.